the most important thing to understand are the conditioning effects of the centers. So we think of it as a problem. And as a, you know, the not self mind will always think of the undefined centers as an issue that they need to solve. Your mind is always gonna be like a moth to a flame, helplessly, choicelessly drawn to that particular center. And we get homogenized by the not self themes, the strategies inside of our heads about ourselves that res resolves the energetics of what we're dealing with out in the outside world. Example, you have an undefined solar plexus, you feel touchy, moody, sensitive, emotional, like, you know, you're buried under all of this emotional weight and you feel like it's your problem. You know, why am I so emotional? What's wrong with me? Why am I so volatile? Why am I always this? Why that? You know, the mind going into trying to understand why constantly, especially with Pluto in gate 61 right now, mutating our inner awareness and our truth. So if we can understand the problem, we can also give temporary stop gaps to help people know a solution. I'm going to go over the temporary stop gaps with you on this next slide where we talk about the problem, but the real solution we'll go into after that, after I talk about the nuances of how a gate can show up in a center, defined, undefined, open, what have you. We're going to talk about the real solution and the real solution to the problem of the centers undefined in the conditioning homogenized, not self shadow state is your strategy your particular auric strategy gives you something solid to do while you decondition, while you wait out the not self shadows, the brightness of, you know, the dominance of them in your life. And while you get back in touch with the home of your own nature, which is your authority, whatever that happens to be, your authority is going to guide you home to yourself. So when it comes to centers, there is a hierarchy of the centers. Now I've just changed the slide from past slides because I've added in a component that is not taught in either analyst training or LYD, but I want you guys to know that the dream rave design, the weak point or type change is going to be the most conditioning of everything. Now, when we first come to human design, we need to work with the very simple and basic so that people understand these things and it helps. The dream rave stuff, we don't teach that unless you're going through a whole three semester, so a year long training above and beyond rave cartography. So if you wanted to, you are qualified to go into dream rave if that's something that's very interesting to you. So the conditioned not self mind tendencies have the most influence in dream rave first. And for you guys, I want you to begin here. The bridging gates or channels for basic, so two areas of definition split, or a quad split. Quad split, same thing. Bridging gates or channels are going to be the top of the hierarchy, right below Dream Rave. Don't worry about Dream Rave right now. Just letting you know that it's there. Okay. 